everyone! I can't wait to tell you the Bible story, but first, let's say our memory verse together. Ready? I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 14. Great job! Now I want you to practice it again, but this time I want you to do it while you're swimming around the room. Look around the room for your grown-ups, and when you find them, point and say, you're my grown-up. Grown-ups, when the verse comes on the screen, pause the video and practice together. Ready? Go! Way to go! Now I'm going to tell you our Bible story. And since it's from the Bible, we know that it's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. That's right. And today I'm going to tell you the true story about a time when Jesus calmed a storm. We're going to learn that Jesus has power over nature. Do you know what nature is? I want you to imagine that you're at your favorite park outside. Close your eyes and let's imagine together. Do you see green grass and a big blue sky with white puffy clouds? You might even see some yellow sunshine. It's so calm and peaceful out here. But now I want you to imagine that the sky is getting darker and the clouds are turning gray and drip, drip, drip. What is that? Oh no, it's rain. Open your eyes before you get all wet. Friends, that is all part of nature and Jesus has power over nature. One day, Jesus and his special friends, the disciples, hopped on a boat to go across the lake. Jesus was tired, so he found a quiet place on the boat and took a nap. Did you know that Jesus took naps? He did, and while he was sleeping, it started to rain. But it wasn't raining just a little bit, it was raining a lot. It was storming. The wind was blowing harder and harder, and the water was choppy, and the waves were so big they were spilling the water into the boat. Can boats float if they're filled with water? No. What do you think the disciples did? I bet they tried to get the water out with any bucket or anything they could find. The disciples were in danger. They were scared. The disciples needed help, so they went to find Jesus. They woke him up and said, Jesus, save us. Will you say that with me? Ready? Jesus, save us. But the disciples didn't need to be afraid because Jesus was with them and Jesus has power over nature. Jesus got up and said to the storm, silence, be still. And do you know what happened? The storm stopped. Everything was calm. There was no more wind and no more rain. The disciples were amazed. They couldn't believe that the wind and waves obeyed him. They got to see that Jesus had power over nature. It was a miracle, something wonderful that only God can do. And because Jesus is God, Jesus can do miracles too. This is a great time for a question. Grown-ups, when it pops up on the screen, pause the video and talk about it together. Friends, next time you go outside and enjoy God's beautiful creation in nature, I want you to remember that Jesus has power over nature. When this video ends, I want you to thank God and praise Him for the power He has over nature. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.